Welcome back. Let's check out our quiz problems that we got before we go proceed on to play some additional games. So this is a position we had in a recent game. And so this is our pop quiz at the beginning of the live stream to see A, if I can remember or if any of you can remember uh, this position. And B, can we figure out what the best move is, supposing that we don't remember it? So... <laughs> Do any of y'all remember this position from the last video, or the last live stream? I'll give you, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute to see if you remember this or not. Probably, I don't have that large of a following that anybody would remember this. But it's a good question. Um, but also, if you don't remember it, then the question is, does it make more sense to capture the horse? Or does it make more sense to capture this silver? It's funny here, I didn't plan this quiz question with the intent of like the hint at the bottom of the screen there, where it says in the opening, the bishop is more important than the rook. And so here we're looking at an unpromoted rook versus a promoted bishop. I didn't do that intentionally. This was just accidental. All right, we've waited about 30 seconds to a minute. And yeah, in the game, I actually took the silver here. And I thought I saw something, and it just does not pan out in the slightest. So more reasonable than that would be exchanging the rook for an, a piece of equal value, this promoted bishop. So hopefully that makes sense to you all. So after they take the rook, we can drop this bishop. And yes, it takes a long time for you to like assert a strong advantage, but here we are about one silver general or one gold general better after just some reasonable looking moves where this promotes and applies pressure and we start to use the remainder of our pieces. All of this would be quite reasonable. Just this continuation. Conversely, if you play what I played in the game, where we sacrifice to get the silver because the king is it looks so exposed, right? And this king is tucked behind a castle, so how dangerous could this be? But the principal continuation here involves trying to really over-defend this king because this castle shape was not solid. And then it's a little bit difficult to get the pieces activated from over here with the rook protecting this pawn and the silver being fought off by this horse here that's also applying pressure this other direction. And while you develop your pieces, you always have to be wary of this rook threat. Um, I think in the game it played out a little bit differently than this optimal line because I didn't defend my king. Instead, I went to exchange more pieces, and this led to further problems. So that's our little warm-up for the live stream or the video. That said, uh, let's go back to playing some 10 minute games. Last time we did some 10 second games, it was quite exciting, but we can't do that every game. So here we go. Should be good fun. I think I might switch it up from Central File Rick today. And good luck. And uh, yeah, opt to play Third File Rook or Quick Ishida. So, there's the rook on the third file. Already I am perplexed that this pawn is hanging. Pushing this pawn does not guarantee any advantage. It surprises many opponents, but it's not useful if the opponent responds well. Uh, or rather, in this case, would not have to respond. Um... So let's actually play some reasonable move here. Okay, their opponent blocks their rook to prevent me from advancing this pawn further. So let's just continue playing reasonable moves. Okay. This pawn is not supported by anything. Again, we can't push our rook pawn further. Uh, we could over the castle the king, which wouldn't really be appropriate either. Instead, okay, our opponent 
has this rook and gold there advancing up the board, aiming toward this bishop. Uh, this gold shape tends to be a huge overplay in general, um, but it does mean I can't advance this pawn right now. Uh, so, instead, yeah, let's just put our king somewhere safe and see what our opponent has planned. They might advance the silver. Oh! Our opponent invests everything on trying to claim this file. That could backfire. Um, okay, so I complete Nino Castle. Our opponent uh, offers some exchanges, so we accept. And they pin their own bishop. Interesting. I don't have a way to exploit this pin directly. Um, I could try to push this pawn up to 5-5 five, five and force some exchanges here. I think my position's well defended, and I do need to guard the 5-5 five, five square, if not claim it for myself. So we'll see if they block their rook twice. No, instead this makes a beeline directly up the board. The rook is not defended. Um, if I attack the bishop, or rather if I attack the gold, they would drop a pawn to defend it. Or they could drop a pawn to defend it, they might not want to. Okay, let's continue to make a beeline for their king. The king is the thing. If you can win that, you win the game. So our opponent has no silver on this side of the board. Um, Nanafun. I'm confused by my opponent's irregular play. Um, okay, we'll make use of this square. Perhaps activate the bishop here, expect them to drop a pawn behind the gold. No, they dropped in front. This slows any attack they might have. Um, well, not any attack. Slows most attacks, but not any. That's clever. I think I've misplayed this. Okay, we're going to break the center open. Gofun. Let's develop our rook through the center file then. They have one pawn in hand. 
Let's see where that pawn goes. Okay. That's a defensive idea. I activate my bishop. And this gold is not defended, and a pawn cannot defend it. Instead, they can push this edge pawn, and things get complicated. But not that complicated, honestly. Um, let's see if the rook positions itself directly into the line of fire. It does. This is not as smart as I thought it was a second ago. And this gives up um, material for initiative, or this there's some exchange of initiative and material that takes place here. It's a question of timing and seeing do they sack the bishop in order to get an initiative by promoting, or instead do they take material and yield the initiative. So they're taking material. On the other hand, I'm threatening a gold, but also threatening a rook. So we attack with tempo. Sampun. I am very confused about how this resolves, so let's just play it. I didn't think they'd do that. I activate my rook. We activate this. That's a fork. This gold is loose.
Oops. Need to be a little smart about how we use our pieces. Let's start this with a pawn. They take our knight, we take the silver, but they don't have better than that here. Because that's a fork. They could block this with the rook by dropping a rook, but they don't. So instead we gain a rook. Um Nifun. We threaten some nasty stuff back here. No, oh, they could drop a pawn to defend this. Um This might not be smart. Because they can take this with tempo. Yeah. Running, running, running. Oh well. If the silver moves up, we dash. I want to drop a knight here. Oh, the knight here wouldn't actually be that useful. Never mind. Let's give our bishop somewhere to go. It's a bit risky, because if they get a bishop, there could be some nasty fork on the long diagonal, but... I'll deal with that when it comes. That doesn't make sense. Oh, that hits my rook. That's the point. Okay, they hit my rook, I hit their silver. Find some creative way to attack here. Um... file is useful. Step aside and let that sit here for a second. I should have just taken it, but um, I didn't see that I could take it twice. Taking could be risky anyway. Um, boom.
Oh, fuck. I need every tempo I can get. That move loses a tempo. Well, my attack is kind of sad anyway. They walk into this fork. Back in the fork you go. We need to break through. Sanjubio. Thanks for the game. Whew, that was down to the wire, wasn't it? Isn't that exciting? Should we get a new proverb for this next game? Keep the foothold. Good luck. Keep the foothold for the attack, they say. Thank you. Yeah. It was an exciting game. Um, further analysis would tell us how accurate the game was, but definitely was exciting. Alright, so our opponent is playing some curious strategy here. I don't see advantage in breaking the third file open, but if I don't do it now, it's going to get a lot harder to do. So let's do it. Usually, an opponent will react by trying to exchange rooks and this kind of, or block the file. Either way, um, so our opponent is playing something aggressive. Meanwhile, we'll just play a reasonable game where we, like, put our king into a castle. And maybe the opponent does the same, maybe they don't. Can put pressure on this side of the board. Our opponent says we can't get away with everything. Um... Okay, we'll fight back on this edge. Uh, 
Our opponent continues to threaten that they might open this diagonal. Okay, let's take the vanguard pawn, since they've given us this shape. And can use the bishop some other way. This suggests an obvious tactic, unless I'm missing something. No, I can't drop a pawn and then drop another pawn, because I have only one pawn in hand. Never mind. This is not trivial. Um... Okay, let's activate the bishop. They prevent our bishop from going here, so we'll activate it this way instead. Nanafun. They have a pawn in hand. Okay, so let's make use of our extra pawn. There it goes. And next we can move up our lance, spring over our rook. Um... So, not sure where we're going after that, but this looks kind of fun. So yeah, today's, or the game proverb we got right before this game was keep the foothold for the attack. Um, so we'll see if we're able to do that this game. I could take this pawn, they bring their gold up, and... Wait, hang on. They do that, I move my rook over. I have a different foothold than I had a second ago. Um, but no, I could try to break through the edge directly, and they get some moves in too that way. I'm not sure if I like that. Um, all right, so we'll take this foothold instead. They can hit our knight, we can hit their rook. They don't even... Okay, so we hit their rook directly. Hopefully the audio is not corrupted for you like it is for me. I'm only getting half of each sound. Hopefully you get the full experience. Either way, I'll try to figure out after the live stream or video what happened here. But yeah, we're hitting this rook directly. Okay, they advance that rook. Um... <laughs> oh, shnikes. That's a free rook. I had all sorts of... Oh, wait, hang on. That's not hanging here. Um, I had all sorts of plans here about my bishop and rook defending this pawn. 
that I didn't think it necessary. <laughs> like for a second ago, I thought I had Rook takes Rook, um, but that's not promoted yet. Regardless, yeah, the proverb we're trying to observe here is keep the foothold for an attack. They got a foothold. We got a foothold. Everybody's got a foothold. We've got Mino Castle. What have we got to fear? Um, Gofun. So rather than grabbing the knight right away, we're just going to attack directly, hit the weak point. They don't even bother defending. Um, can I double down on this? They have a pawn on every file except this one. But I don't have a piece that can target that direction. Um, Alright, so we'll play the obvious here and get the bishop out of harm's way and promote it. And the bishop's just as influential up there as it is back here. It's a long-range piece. Okay, we'll get to that comment in a second. Um... We have established another foothold for attack on the back rank here. Additionally, hitting this gold general. They likely will either place or move a silver here. Um, I think this is safe. We'll find out in a second if I'm mistaken. But yeah, most of their pieces are not right next to their king. Okay. Hmm. So this is also a very difficult point for them to defend. Just attack in both directions at once here. And it looks like I need more material to continue my attack. Um, but so do they. Their token is not... Like, this knight is not defended. They'll have to take this pawn to defend their knight. And they do. Um, Sanpun. Hmm. I don't know how to attack here. Still looking. Nifun. Okay. 
Okay, here's an attacking idea. It's not perfect. Um, not even close. Strange. All right, we'll take two pieces. And somehow it'll be okay. Ippun. We'll block the bishop. We have another knight. Try to get them to sacrifice their bishop. Wow. This is difficult to read. Oh wait, knight takes pawn is amazing. I should have done knight takes pawn. I still can do it. That looks fun. Also, I can take their bishop. Definitely should be taking the bishop soon. Thanks for the game. In the previous move, you can capture their rook with the toki and they can capture my rook with the lance. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, shogi's not easy. Again, another game right down to the wire. Which brings us to game three. Good luck. Their profile says bishop exchange. I don't cherish that. So, yeah, we're gonna play Central Foul Rook then. <laughs> I 
question is if I'm too slow to assault this castle. Oh, well, this is not my wisest strategy ever. Building Kimuramino against Anaguma is not smart. We don't need to complete it. Um, This is going to be a rough game. That's bizarre. Okay, so we complete full Mino then. By our opponent's request. Um. Let's activate our bishop. Let's really activate our bishop. I don't understand that. Let's just continue this activation path. So somehow it appears I have a clamp on this position that is somewhat challenging to break. Um, ah, this is how they intend to activate their rook. 
That's clever. Nana Fun. We activate the horse right away. This forces the silver to retreat. Otherwise, if I drop a pawn, they could drop a pawn. But now that's not available anymore. We block their bishop. Yeah, I saw this tactic. I didn't think it was decisive. Oh, it does trap my rook, however, which is a serious problem. So we we're forced to accept this exchange. Um, continue fighting against their bishop. Oh, well, this walks into another tactic. Sure, I win a tempo, but it's not worth my rook. This I should not have walked into. Wait, no, if they hit my bishop, I can move it forward. And they don't get to take my rook. Not immediately. Okay, my rook needs freedom, and the path forward is blocked, so we need another path. Just promote all our pawns next to the opponent's castle and see if they notice anything. That's the plan.
All right, to hell with it. Here we go. Fire Z missiles. We'll see how far we get with this. There. Okay. That's a different move than what I expected. Already. Um. We're making a hunch here that that's the correct move and that this is the correct follow-up just on a whim or a hunch yep all right um so we can promote another pawn Take here too. Maybe this is the wrong move. Maybe I'm supposed to promote it. Um, Something. We could use this knight to attack. I think I need one more piece beside what I have in hand there for this attack to be successful. So I grab a knight. Uh, I don't understand that at all. This hits very quickly, so... Um, Okay, that's their intended response here. It's fine with me. Um,
I need to kill this attack. Thanks for the game. Pog indeed. For those not familiar with this platform's ter uh, this online gaming Twitch platform's terminology, Pog is a term of endearment, meaning that we had quite an exciting moment there. But yeah. Yes. Um, Hidechi stresses, do not gloat in your victory. On the other hand, uh, Playing a game is exciting. It's a game of war. And so, yeah, we've had videos where I've been dispirited after losing. I don't want to gloat. Not at all. But I feel like we achieved something together there. And so, yeah, there is some excitement in enjoying the game. We can't entirely deny it. Whether or not I'm on the receiving end or attacking end of that, I think it was still a beautiful thing. Uh, there's perhaps a better way to do it, but yeah, we've won three games today, so I think everyone here found that quite exciting. Um, if only because we understood uh, throughout the contour of each game, had some plan for what was going on, were able to experience that together. It's Somehow it feels a bit different when you can figure out plans throughout a game than when you're confused. And so today we got to enjoy uh, the brighter side of that coin. Uh, but yeah, hope we all enjoyed these games. Thanks for watching.